Hey guys, Chris here. I uh, wanted to do another video, and again, this one is, it's probably going to be interesting to anyone that views the channel, but um, this is primarily a video for my, uh, my local buyers. Um, so what we're going to be going over today is what exactly you get when you buy a computer from me as far as the overall experience. Um, you know, what's, you know, what's the interaction, what kind of interaction do I provide you with? Um, and what makes me different from the next person selling computers? There's lots of people selling computers. <clears throat> um, assuming it's being done right, assuming somebody isn't just straight up trying to scam you. And there's a lot of people that aren't. Um, but we all offer something different. What I offer is going to appeal to some people and, and it's not going to appeal to other people. Um, what I offer isn't intended for every buyer, just as what, what other people offer isn't intended for every buyer. Um, so I kind of wanted to go over that today and I, I feel like a video presentation might be more effective than, than you know, my write up on my ads. So what we have here is, um, this is, this is an excellent example of what's probably going to be my lowest end build <clears throat> that I do in quite a while. Um, so you can see, um, uh, it's, you probably can't even guess. You, you'd have to really be a hardware head to guess what this is. Um, this is a, a clean, fresh build. Um, this particular build is a third gen. Uh, this is an i5-3570K with, uh, I believe I put 12 gigs of RAM and a uh, AMD Radeon. And this was back when it was still an AMD too. I think this, is, this might have been the last gen. Um, but uh, this has an AMD Radeon HD 6972 gig video card in it. So. Things that make me a little different than other than other sellers, I think. Um, you know, I detail cars for a living. Uh, that's kind of my, my full-time gig. And what I do with computers, I, I really try to do the same thing that I do with cars at, at my job. Um, <clears throat> so when I, when I get these, I don't always buy stuff that's in perfect condition, but I, I detail the cases. I go fully through the cases. I don't know how well... Yeah, you can kind of see in the video. There's not really. So I can pull that. Uh, put it kind of in the light. Um, so I rip these cases apart. They get fully dusted out. Everything. The fans. The whole. The whole case gets broken down as far as it can be. Some cases can be broken down further than others. But most of these cases are pretty modular. Most of these components come off. That came off. The front panel came off. Um, now, nah, well, oh, and these all came out. So these hard drive. Caddies all came out. Um, all of that stuff collects dust. So I go through and I dust them out. I even pull, let's see if I can do it here. Yeah, you can kind of see here. I pull these out. I dust those out. Um, so, so you're not getting somebody's old, you know, obviously, I mean, you should know you're buying budget old hardware when you buy something like this. I, I really, I hope you're not, I hope you're not watching <clears throat> Shots. I hope you're not looking at my ad thinking, oh my God, that's a brand new computer. He's selling it for so cheap. I'm, I'm not, that's not what I'm doing. That's not what this is. This is, this is older, formerly, shall we call it gaming grade hardware. Um, but uh, I want, I want you to have a solid experience. I want you to, I, I don't want you to feel like you're buying somebody's, somebody else's old dusty piece of garbage. Just like when you buy a used car from a dealership, which is what I do. Um, I detail used cars and you know, you know, you're buying somebody else's lived in car. Okay. You know that you're buying a car somebody else has used, but you don't want their, their cup holders, you know, their old cup holders full of, you know, whatever they dripped into the cup holder. You know, we clean all that out. You don't want all their, all their, you know, moldy French fries that were between the seats. You know, they were there. You, you, you know, that, 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 that stuff was all cleaned out of the car. Um, and you don't want to smell it. You don't want to, you don't, you know, you don't want a car that was like that. And that's what I do with these computers. It's the same exact thing. You don't want a computer that somebody's old smoke scent is in. I usually dispose of those. If I get one of those, I dispose of those. Those are almost impossible to fully remediate. So I, I don't, I don't mess with those usually. Um, but really heavily dusty and just generally dirty from use systems. Yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. You can, you can remediate those. That's, this case wasn't terrible. I don't usually buy ones anymore that are terrible, but most cases are going to need cleaning, especially if you get them cheap enough to be able to sell them at the prices I'm trying to sell these systems at once you put several hours of work into it. Um, 
So the next thing that, that I do is I try to choose components you actually want in your, your with your pre-owned hardware. So one of the things, yeah, you definitely said halfway decent. So um, I, I try to properly pair the components. So this system has 12 gigs of RAM, right? I didn't try to throw 32 gigs of RAM in it to make this so that, uh, you know, because some parts are easier to come by than others. Um, so I didn't throw 32 gigs of RAM in it and then no video card. I didn't throw, you know, an i7-2600 in it to make it worth a little bit more money and then eight gigs of RAM and a non-functional video card. You know, I, I try to pair or, you know, I didn't throw, I didn't throw a crappy power supply. This is a good power supply in it. Um, actually, this has a decent, I mean, you know, you're not going to throw an 11th gen i7 in here, but this has a decent upgrade path. You can put 30, 3770K in it, which uh, that chip, if you find a good deal, I mean, you might find a deal on a 3770K. You might find some random person selling one for $20 on, uh, on Craigslist. Slap that in there. That'll give you a performance boost. Um, and that's, I mean, that's a chip that's probably going to be on par with some of the low end, you know, second, third gen Ryzen stuff. Pretty close, not that far off. Um, it's got a power supply. This power supply has two eight pins. Can't really see them here, but this video card actually required a little more power power than I like on a on a cheap build. So I put this 500 watt EVGA in here. It's got two eight pins. You're going to be able to power pretty much any video card that you would actually install in a system like this off of it, no problem. Um, decent case. It's it's a big old gaming case, but it is, it's a decent brand name case, thermal take case. Um, this build is actually, as you see it here, it's going to be sold, but this is probably going to play host to a number of different video cards just to get some videos in. I find people like to see what, what older hardware does when you pair it with slightly more modern uh, video hardware. So I'll probably do some of those kind of videos like I always do. Um, so you have, you have parts you actually want. Good board, I'm not gonna call it a good video card, okay? This isn't gonna max or even run at high current generation games. This is really a build for Fortnite. This is gonna be built, this is gonna be advertised as for Fortnite. I've, I've tested it. You can get around 100 FPS out of this uh, at, at, on performance mode. Um, you could certainly get a lot more with a higher end video card, but this is really for someone that doesn't wanna spend a whole lot of money on a video card. That's really what this is for. It's a decent solid set of specs, low end video card. Um, so I pair the parts properly to make sure you're getting the right parts for the build. Um, uh, big thing with me and anyone that's dealt with me before, um, <clears throat> I demo my systems. I do not believe in warranting systems. If, if you want to buy from someone that claims that they will warranty their heart, their, their pre-owned hardware, I mean, more power to you. My opinion on that is that until the hardware has broken, Unless they have reviews. If they're a store with good reviews and people that, that'll back up their claims, that's that's a different case. But most of us that are dealing on Craigslist, offer up Facebook Marketplace, that's a little different. You're not going to see a lot of reviews. Until uh, until your computer has broken, they have called you and they have, uh, I'm sorry, until your computer is broken, you have called them and they have backed up that warranty with, with you know, real action. I, I say I say uh, warranty on Craigslist is is crap, um, and I honestly I I've I have a bunch of reasons, but I, I don't want to live in a world where people who sell cheap hardware on Craigslist feel like they have to factor in. Well, what if this breaks a month from now? Hardware doesn't break as much as it used to, but that being said, people aren't going to sell. It's going to be like eBay. Right? There's a reason why hardware is always worth more on eBay because those sellers are factoring in what if what if this person claims that the hardware breaks, either legitimately or illegitimately. Whereas on Craigslist, offer up Facebook Marketplace, most people are pricing their hardware based on that not being an issue. So I, I don't want to live in a world where I can't buy dirt cheap hardware on the secondary market anymore because everybody thinks that they're going to have to worry, what if I break the hardware? So. And that, that basically just falls into pre-owned hardware. There's there's some level of risk with it. But what I try to do to mitigate that risk, you see all these videos with gaming. My belief is that the best way to test hardware is to actually use it. I don't believe in burn-in testing. 
I don't really believe in, in benchmark testing. Um, benchmarks serve a purpose. I typically only use them if I'm trying to determine like if a thermal system is working right. So if I think if I think a system's overheating too easily, I'll throw a benchmark in looped mode on it. But I like to actually use my systems. And my, uh, my, my YouTube channel is a testament to that. I mean, I think I've got approaching 900 videos now representing, I mean, I, I probably, New systems, I, I do, I do uh, uh, YouTube videos for all of them. But the YouTube videos that you see on my channel go back, I think, six years. And in, in six years, you'll notice uh, probably actual systems represented that I've built, probably one in five, maybe less than that. So, um, but, but the, the number of game test videos you see and the amount, the variation in hardware should be a testament to just how many systems I've built. Um, and then, uh, I should have written a script for this video. Um, oh yeah. So, so what, I, what else I do is I demo when I, so when I sell the system, I understand some people want to meet in a parking lot. Honestly, you really shouldn't do that. I, I understand you don't. Not everybody wants somebody coming over to their home. Um, in my case, I think if you look, I mean, I, I'm here. See, this is me. I'm, I'm not trying to hide who I am. And um, the fact that this video, this YouTube channel is now monetizing should tell you I've been through all of YouTube's checks. They've verified my address. Um, I, I, you know, I think at this point I've demoed that I'm at the very least not going to come over and, and do something psychotic. So if, if this entire YouTube channel it, you know, all the content here isn't enough to, to verify that I'm, you know, a, a reasonable, reliable, trustworthy person. I, there's nothing I can do to produce. I, there's nothing I can do to, to satisfy you at this point. This channel's been around for six years now. I've been advertising with these videos for, I don't know, three or four years now. So I, I think I've done as much as I can possibly do. Um, I, and so what I do is I bring the systems over. And I demo them. I want you to game on the hardware. I want you to game on my computer because I don't want you to say, I don't want you to just plug it in and turn it on and say, oh, oh yeah, you know, it's the specs. And then, and then I get a call later and you're like, well, I never saw the computer actually work. No, no, no. We're going to game on this thing. Okay. We're going to game on this thing. I want you to game. I mean, I'll sit there. I, I, I've let people game on my systems for an hour. I mean, Fortnite will be installed. I'll have some, at least one or two random reasonably demanding for the hardware AAA titles on the computer in single player campaign mode that you can play if you don't have internet. Um, I'm trying to think what else, you know, I mean, that's just kind of a, a rundown of, of what I offer. And again, you know, some sellers, some sellers are, are going to, are going to say they offer warranty. Um, oftentimes they will charge more and oftentimes that'll be indicative of them taking into account the risk that that, that involves that obviously I don't have to take into account. Um, <clears throat> some people, you know, you'll see RGB systems. Some people will make their systems look pretty. I don't usually put your purchase dollar into pretty. I try to put your purchase dollar into stuff like, uh, you see like full size boards, full size boards tend to be more expensive than, than cheaper boards, which cuts into how much I can put into aesthetics on the system. Um, you know, uh, you know, Sometimes I'll go with an i7 versus an i5, but it'll mean I can't put RGB in the system because it'll be $25 difference on the chip, and that's the $25 that would have been RGB on a higher-end system. So, you know, different sellers offer different things, um, and this is what I offer. So I, I hope you guys find this interesting, and uh, I hope it answers questions that I, I couldn't answer just with a straight-up, you know, typed-out description on my ads. Um, anyway, I hope everybody finds this interesting and informative, and thanks for watching the video.